Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic 3 video. And in today's video, this video is geared and aimed um, for, you know, you beginning uh, drone pilots. Whether your very first drone was the DJI Mavic 3. Congratulations, by the way, if your very first drone ever is the DJI Mavic 3. Quite the drone uh, to be your very first. Um, or honestly, guys, as long as, if you have a DJI drone that uses the DJI Fly app, as opposed to the DJI Go 4 app, it really doesn't matter if you have the DJI Mavic 3. Uh, the DJI Mavic Mini, the DJI Mini 2, I believe some of the Air, you know, the Mavic Air drones, I believe that, um, you know, they, they also use the DJI Fly app. So, again, if you got a Mavic 3, awesome, but really what's more important to be able to follow along um, in this video particularly is um you know having the dji fly app is that is the interface that the dji mavic 3 uses so being that we're geared to somebody that is brand new to drones maybe you haven't ever even flown before i just kind of want to talk through and explain some of the process of setting up and taking the drone off so first of all there is the matter of turning on your drone and turning on your remote control so to turn on the remote control and your drone, this is how it works with DJI products. So there's a power button here. You're going to short press, then long press until you hear the three beeps, okay? So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna go tap, then tap and hold until you hear the beeps. Same thing on your DJI Mavic 3 or your other drone. Uh, wherever the power button is, the power button is on the battery on the DJI Mavic 3. Short press, long press. And then I can hear the drone and then you hear the little the beeps there. So now our remote and our drone is successfully turned on. Now let's get inside the DJI Fly app. Okay, so as you can tell, we are now here inside the DJI Fly app. Couple things you wanna make sure that you wanna do before you take off. And the first and foremost is you want to make sure that you're successfully connected to, you know, satellites because that's what gives you your GPS signal and allows your drone to know where it's at on this planet. And so um, if you look in the upper right hand corner, you will see a white little satellite and then very faintly you can see to the upper right of that little satellite icon, you can see 15. That means that the drone is connected to a series of 15 satellites. Thus, you're gonna get a pretty good strong GPS signal. So we're good to go there. Now, another thing to kind of take note and look at in the bottom left corner, do you guys see that teeny tiny little map? We are going to tap on that, and then you will see that it actually brings up kind of this satellite bird's eye um, view of where we're at. Now, by default, that map is in this standard mode. I have done a video on the map modes and how to toggle them. I will have that linked in the description. So be sure to check that out if you wish. But what I like to do is I actually like this mixed version, which will show the actual satellite imagery of the map, but also it'll you know have the names of the roads and things like that on there. So anyways, to toggle back and forth between what your drone is actually seeing from its camera and to see kind of an overhead view, you just simply tap on that and as you can see, they just switch. So that's something that's definitely handy sometimes when you're flying and you're kind of like, oh man, I wanna know right when I'm over, blah, 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 you can just tap on that and toggle them. Now, before we want to launch the drone, we want to make sure that again, we are connected to those satellites. Now, if you will look down there in the lower left, you will see, and we can tap on it, and zoom in with your fingers, you, you know, you can pinch and pull in to a certain point but you can see that there is an H there, a yellow ball with a H in it, and then a little triangle looking, almost a paper airplane icon type thing. That's our drone. You can see that our drone is right there on the H and the H is the home point. That means our home point is stored, which is very important because if you were to lose signal to the drone, whether it's you accidentally drop the remote and your phone pops off and the cord disconnects, or if you were to fly it too far away and you lost your signal, or no matter what the case may be, you wanna have that home point stored so the drone will know to come back. That's also an important thing. Something else to take note of and look at is up in the upper right hand corner, you see the three little white dots. Now. Under safety here, which is the first tab, we wanna scroll down and then you want to get to advanced safety settings. 
Now, this is important right here. If you lose your signal, you have three options. Do you want the drone to return to home? Do you want the drone to just start descending and land? Or do you want it to just hover in place? I don't know about you guys, but I want my drone coming back to me. If it's way far away or I lost sight of it or something bad happened or whatever the case may be, I don't want my drone just hovering there or it descending. I want it to come back to me. So it's kind of a no brainer, but I understand that there are different situations where you may want to do um, one of the other two options. So, uh, that's that's something that's good to know getting back here um a couple of other things to note there may be times up in the upper right hand corner the three white dots again going to back out of there um if you'll scroll down and you'll see the sensors section you'll see compass normal and imu normal uh your compass and imu um, or things you can calibrate. As an analogy, I kind of, you know, treat them like an oil change, not something you have to do every single time you fly your drone, but maybe, you know, once every seven to 20 flights or so, or if you look on here and it prompts you and tells you, hey, you need to calibrate the compass or you need to calibrate the IMU, guess what, guys? I've already made a video on calibrating both of those. They will be in the description as well. So anyways, we have our drone turned on. We have our remote turned on. We're connected to satellites. We look on our map down here. We see that our home point is set. Now we are ready to take off, assuming you look around and do a scan and obviously look straight up, make sure there's no trees or power lines or anything like that your drone is going to run into. And what we're going to do is in the far left, you see the little white icon in the middle of the screen, little circle icon with the arrow pointing up. We're going to tap on that and then we're going to press and hold. And I'm taking the drone up manually now by pushing up on the left stick but because I just wanted to get the noise out of this video, but it would come up and, you know, hover, you know, three, four feet off the ground until you start, you know, controlling your drone. Speaking of controlling your drone, I will have a video upcoming very shortly on basic flight control, or depending on when you're watching this video, it's probably already done. I will also link that in the description of this video once I get the video made, or if it's already made, it's, it's there now. So, um, Anyways, guys, there is your basic setup and takeoff on a DJI Mavic 3 using the DJI Fly app. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please be sure to subscribe and tap the little bell notification icon to never miss any future uploads. As always, guys, I enjoyed it. This is Dylan.